In this video, we're going to look at one-dimensional elastic collisions between objects of the same mass. Here we have a one-dimensional elastic collision between two boxes, M and M. Let's say one box travels to the right at 3 meters per second, while the other box travels to the right at 1 meter per second. Find the final velocities of the two boxes. Because it is an elastic collision, the outcome must satisfy two conditions, momentum conservation and the kinetic energy conservation. We have two unknowns, V1F and V2F, two equations, so we have one unique set of solution. And let's compare this elastic collision to another scenario. Two boxes with the same mass M same initial velocities, but instead of colliding, the box in the back simply passes the box in the front. In this scenario, of course, the momentum is conserved and the kinetic energy is conserved as well. This means the two scenarios must have the same set of solutions, 1 meters per second to the right and 3 meters per second to the right. So. 1 meter per second and 3 meters per second to the right. The two boxes simply switch velocities. But since the two boxes have the same mass, this outcome keeps both momentum and the kinetic energy the same before and after the collision. If I change the initial velocities to 3 meters per second to the right and 1 meter per second to the left, what do you think the final velocities will be if it is still one-dimensional elastic collision? Again, the boxes will switch velocities to keep momentum and the kinetic energy conserved. So this box will get the 1 meter per second velocity to the left and that one will get the 3 meters per second velocity to the right. Here I have this thing called the Newton's Cradle. It has identical steel balls hung from strings and these balls can collide with each other. You're going to be able to hear the sound of the balls colliding so we know at least some of the kinetic energy is lost to sound energy during collision. So the collisions between these balls are not perfectly elastic, but very close to elastic. So let's see. Let's start with uh, two balls, same mass. That means that uh, after they collide elastically, they simply switch velocities, right? Because this is the solution that's going to keep the momentum and the kinetic energy conserved. I can also have both balls moving. They just switch velocities after the collision. Now what if I do this? I start with one ball coming down. What will happen? In order to keep momentum and kinetic energy conserved, only one ball has to go up. I can also do two balls. Two balls will go up because that's the way to keep momentum and the kinetic energy conserved. And then if I do three balls, right, because the, the solution has to keep the momentum and the kinetic energy conserved. If I use four, that's what happens. And uh, of course, if I do five of them, five balls go up, right? Now I can also do this. I can also have these two, right? They still switch velocities, or one faster, one slower. I can do two and one. 
I can do three and one. And try four and one. Or any combination. Two, two, three, two. Or I guess this four and one. Okay, we can do different speeds because uh, that's how we keep the momentum and the kinetic energy conserved. 